Manatees are dying at an alarming rate. More of the mammals have died within the first three months of 2021 than in all of 2020. 649 have died compared to 213 last year. These manatee deaths are happening along the Atlantic coast. News for Jack's reporter Brittany Muller says the Jacksonville Zoo is making adjustments when releasing them. They are making those adjustments because they wouldn't want to release a manatee into an environment where potentially it wouldn't survive. The FWC is working with the federal government to investigate why there are so many manatee deaths so far this year. The five year average for manatee deaths in Florida is 213, but within the first three months of 2021, that rate is three times higher with 649 deaths. The FWC has declared this an unusual mortality event. What is this event? Well, there have been uh, an extremely high number of, of deaths this, this winter. Um, and uh, certainly the, the number one concern is lack of food out there. Specifically seagrass. Craig Miller is the curator of mammals at the Jacksonville Zoo and Gardens. He oversees the Manatee Critical Care Center, which is one of four centers in the state. In February, the zoo released five rehabilitated manatees. Is there hesitation to get these animals back out there? Two of those five were from the East Coast. And because of everything going on, we actually released them um, in Blue, at Blue Spring. It just didn't seem like uh, the best idea to put them back in that environment. And with colder winter temperatures than usual, all it takes is for the water to drop below 68 degrees for the mammals to become cold stressed. Currently, there are three manatees at the center. This one is a calf who came to the zoo on March 5th. She is an orphan and uh, we have no idea what happened to mom, but likely mom you know, there's a good chance mom starved to death. Two of the three manatees currently here at the critical care facility at the zoo are considered part of the unusual mortality event. The FWC says 42% of the manatee deaths so far this year took place in an area of concern, Indian River in Brevard County. Biologists say this area has suffered significant loss of seagrass beds for the past decade. Biologists say as temps are warming up, manatees will travel throughout the state, but Miller says this unusual mortality event will still likely continue. And through all of this, boat strikes continue to happen. So as a reminder, Follow the speed zones, avoid seagrass beds, do not feed or give water to the manatees. It is illegal and wear polarized glasses. If you see a sick, injured or dead manatee, call the FWC at the number on your screen. 1-888-404-3922. Brittany Muller, Channel 4, The Local Station.